This house is located in the Edge Hill District. It's an old historic neighborhood. It's got four squares, bungalows, a few Queen Anne's, and some Tudors. The houses are redone or being redone, and the neighborhood is a wonderful mix of professionals and plumbers, of professors and potters. This is one of the four original fireplaces that are, remain in this beautiful four square home. It has the original bevel glass mirror. It has this beautiful detailing around the mirror. We have the um, classical Corinthian columns on either side. We have this beautiful mantle. We have, holding up the beautiful fireplace, we have these acanthus leaf bracket supports and they draw the eye down to the ceramic tile surrounds and the colors, if you will notice, are sort of muted browns and greens and what that does is that it, it's showing the period which would be sort of the craftsman William Morris um, mission period which was when the house was built as a reaction to the Victorian frou-frou. Um, so they tried to bring the exterior, the outside, inside. So these are all like colors of nature um, around the fireplace. The original fireplace would have been coal, so the, uh, my sellers have put in like a gas fireplace, but instead of gas logs, they put in coal, which would have been original to the house. And then we've got this beautiful metal surround that is um, original to the house, and then the cover, which they would have used in the summertime, is heart-shaped with three cupids in there, which I think is just awfully romantic for this kind of uh, period. I wanted to show you a close-up of one of the windows in the house, but they're all the same. So um, I wanted to show you how large they are. They're about 46 inches wide by 86 some odd high, and they are um, original wavy glass, which is so much fun. Um, but you don't have to worry about the energy efficient because we have storm windows on the outside with screens. So in the spring and fall, you can open up your windows and open up your screens and have, have the breeze going through. But in the wintertime and the summer, the studies are showing that original single pane windows with a storm window are just as energy efficient as replacement windows with double panes. Um, we've got this lovely sill here with this detailing underneath. Um, we've got the fluted surrounds with the bullseye molding, and that is throughout the house. This room would have originally been the parlor, but my sellers, who are retired professors, turned it into the library. So they had all of these bookshelves custom installed, custom made, and um, they are all adjustable. Between the living room and the parlor, we have the original oak pocket doors that all the old houses that were of a certain standard would have of the period. And I just wanted to show you this beautiful transom stained glass windows that my sellers commissioned. You have the brick shape um, surround here, which matches the surround on the fireplace in this room. Here we have the original cold air return, which is wrought iron and beautifully done. It's large because they used to do it just with the cold air falling before they had a lot of pumps on the heat and air system. Every old house needs a pedestal sink and a clawfoot tub, and we've got one. We've got wainscoting around the walls, and here is our beautiful tub and our pedestal sink with our marble floor. And here in the dining room, as typical around the house, we have the five panel, original five panel doors with the original hardware here. And then the room is large with these big windows that let in so much pretty light. And it's large enough for a good sized dining room table so that you've got lots of seating for Thanksgiving and everybody can come to your house. We have a redone kitchen. As you can see, we have a beautiful breakfast area close to those tall windows that let in such beautiful light in the, in the morning time. We have a ton of cabinet space. The white subway tile on the surround and the back is so classic and it is so of the period. And the light fixture is of the William Morris era. 
And from the kitchen and the breakfast area, we have these beautiful French doors to the covered patio out back. So they open up, both sides open up. It's great for flow, for parties. Here we have the covered deck and the overlooking the beautiful English formal garden. The backyard is completely fenced for the protection of your kids and your dogs. And we have a one car garage in the back that's accessible from the alley. And now we're moving upstairs. You can see how wide it is. We've got the original balusters and banister, and it just makes a really pretty transition from the downstairs to the upstairs. Here we have the upstairs bathroom. We have wainscoting like we did below, and we have another pedestal sink and the white subway tile on the floor. This is another one of the bedrooms upstairs. This was added on when the kitchen was added on and you can see it's just as large, if not larger, than the other bedrooms. We have it staged as the master, but my sellers used it as an upstairs den and a project room. We're in one of the four upstairs bedrooms. You can see how beautiful the large windows let in all the natural light. We have one of the four original fireplaces, and the high ceilings make for such a large open room. And we have two other upstairs bedrooms we're just going to show you quickly. Same huge windows, same bullseye molding, same tall ceilings, same gorgeous light. Here is another bedroom upstairs, same beautiful windows, same molding around the windows with the bullseye and the fluted surround. Have another original fireplace with blue and white ceramic tile.